Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Fernando Daguano. Uh, I'm from Argentina. I usually live in Rio de Janeiro, but now I'm in Buenos Aires. Uh, and I'm the founder of Alchemetricos. Um, we, we detected, we, this is no secret, that the toys that we play with um, shape who we are, personally, academically, professionally. And this works especially for technology and science. Um, like there are a bunch of uh, very good uh, steam toys, but they are not affordable for everybody. It is mainly ruled by market rules, and in, especially in the global south, that is this this um, shapes who has access to higher technical and science education. So five years ago, we committed to develop a tool that um, may allow everybody to access uh, cool educational toys. And uh, it became quite a movement, something that we think is bigger than, than, than us. Um, we think that toys should be free for the children and for the planet. And uh, that's why Alchemetricos is focused to lowering the barriers uh, so everybody can access um, st STEAM educational toys, um, products that you can make uh, on your own at home following very simple guidelines using very simple tools and materials and cheap materials. Uh, it is very cool if you have access to a fab lab or something like that with digital fabrication uh, possibilities, but uh, right now those kind of uh, workshops are not uh, very available in the Global South. So we developed something that could be made at home. And uh, we started this, as I was telling, f uh, five years ago, and it was quite a ride. Even this last uh, pandemic year was kind of a roller coaster full of activities and trying to digitalize um, all of, of our materials we, because we had no possibility to get together with teachers and children and families to teach in, in present, um, in real time, uh, together the, um, the techniques we use. So, um, Alchemetricos was, um, was founded in Argentina, then we moved uh, to Brazil, and from then on we got some prizes, some recognitions, we are part of the Creative Commons uh, Global Network, and uh, we even got this year's uh, Community Activities Fund that helped a lot with what we'll, uh, I will be showing in a minute. Uh, we are fellows from the MIT Media Lab, and uh, we travel to Canada, uh, USA, uh, Spain, Portugal, Morocco, China. Um, we are part of many um, education, open education networks and um, digital fabrication um, movements. And we are completely aligned with quality education and um, innovation in, in even our our um, products uh, has a lot to do with social um, sustainability even environmental su sustainability this year we as i was telling was very special for our work we didn't have any more the chance to get together with the children and with the teachers so we kind of digitalize everything we could we developed this um, Toys for Quarantine campaign in which we ran um, a crowdfunding campaign that um, was um, very, very interesting how to, uh, to see how people reacted in the rest of the world to our proposal. We created some printable um, guidelines and video um, activities too, and kind of a, a Moodle-like platform in which um, teachers and family can uh, take children to make their own toys together at home. Um, Alchemetricos 
um, are this kind of uh, building block system, especially focused on the geodesic structures and tensegrity structures, because they are kind of uh, very, they are very efficient, and it, it is kind of the, the the architecture of the future, you know. But we think that we shouldn't uh, leave that architecture in the future just in the hands of people that has. A um, lot of money to access uh, very, very high, uh, high level um, toys boxes. So we try to make it as open as possible. Even the not only the blueprints, but the um, the pedagogic uh, materials, or also the. Um, the, the brand itself and the business model is open so everybody can uh, perhaps uh, grab our blueprints and, and make their own toys, but they can even uh, give workshops or fabricate and sell the products so they can even make a living if that allows to a community to make a self-sustainable uh, use of the project. Um, this is a sprint of our, of our 101 crash course. Uh, as we say, we are collaborative and open by design. This is our Hall of Fame, which, where you can see where, uh, how our community is composed. Uh, we are always uh, looking for some help, so you can, uh, you can see our collaborators code. As I was saying, um, OERs are not always textbooks. Uh, OERs perhaps are tangible things that you can make on your own, perhaps in the solitude of isolation uh, in, in quarantine. But this uh, is, is crucial for development of uh, an integrated uh, education. So thank you very much for getting to know our project and this opportunity to showcase it. Gracias, Fernando. That was an excellent presentation your, and your timing was perfect. <laughs> Uh, ladies Thank and you gentlemen, the floor is open for questions. We have two minutes. You can ask your question uh, by unmuting yourself or typing in the chat. Fernando, I see a Chuck. question from Chuck, yeah. Can you please share which MIT lab you were working with? Yeah, I'm part of the um, uh, MIT, Me uh, MIT Media Lab, um, uh, Creative uh, Education Program. There's a Brazilian program from MIT Media Lab funded by the Lehman Foundation. And there's a, a Brazilian uh, creative education network. I'm part of it. And, and in two years ago, uh, we won, uh, Acumetricos won um, a fellowship. So we went to Boston and, and so I see the, the MIT Media Lab and, and lots of, of um, creative learning um, cases in, in Boston. Uh, thank you so much. That's really great. I was just curious about how, how your prototyping had come about. Thank you. Thank, thank to you. You can check our work at alchemetricos.com or search for Alchemetricos at any social network. Uh, so we keep in touch. Uh, really beautiful. Love, love the whole concept. Thank you.